Hey beautiful people, it's another beautiful day here in Central Florida and today I just wanted to share a little bit of information about a plant known as Florida Betony. Uh, a lot of people know it as the rattlesnake weed. Um, I didn't know it as anything except for an invasive, annoying, um, vicariously staged piece of life uh, until recently. So I want to show you this plant and I want to tell you a little about what the benefits are. All right guys, and here with a little patch of Florida Betony. As you can see, it has a very mint-like structure because it is relative to the mint, and it gets these beautiful little purple flowers on it and clusters. Now, this does not smell anything like mint. This is gonna have a very musky, earthy tone, not many floral nodes at all. Um, nothing that would attract you to it, but that's kind of a blessing in disguise. So, Florida Betony, you can look it up. It'll bring up a bunch of articles of information, really quick Google search or whatever. Hate to promote Google, but you know, it's what we use. Um, for tinctures, it'll help with headaches, um, anxiety. It'll help in a more mild way than say peppermint or spearmint. So if you're sensitive to essential oils or anything like that, or teas, this is a great alternative to mix in with say a chamomile or whatnot. So you have the suppressant effect and then you have the calming effect as well. I'm going to take a second and try to dig up um, the root system because that is what I use primarily. We call them snacks in the house. Uh, my daughter, she will consume handfuls of these at a time and so in order to keep her occupied in the garden I literally just say hey let's go pick some snacks and that is the Florida Betony root. So um, oh a little FYI about the roots you are not going to find them on directly offshoots of the Florida Betony that has flowered. If it's flowered, you're gonna find extremely um, long runs of their root system, which is a beautiful white, here. This is their root system. It's a beautiful white. And then this is what um, the rattlesnakes, which is where they get the nickname rattlesnake weed, it draws off of. So I'm gonna see, it's so beautiful. So I'm gonna grab you, I'm gonna go over this way to the other side of the yard or this little garden area that I have going on and get you some that is just not dormant, it's just not budding because it's sending out offshoots. So I'm going to dig into this dirt right here and then I will show you that. So over here, like two seconds into the dig, I don't even know why I paused my camera, um, you have this beautiful little offset, offset roots. So I don't know if you can see that. See? Let's see if it'll focus. Focus, dude. Focus. There's a lot to focus on. I have gloves on because this is in a patch of dewberry so there you go this is a little guy but we'll get them like two three inches long sometimes maybe bigger or longer um, but yeah Jaden will just snack on these for indefinite periods of time but I found a lot of recipes online for you canners out there and people who like to get creative with your foods and pack your pantries I guess this is a really good thing to pickle. I haven't tried it myself because we never get to that stage. We just snack on them. But something for you guys to try and enjoy. And also, um, if you all want, ooh, mealworms. If you guys want to um, get some of this or if you want to incorporate this into your garden, I will be glad to send you cuttings in the mail um, or roots in the mail, whatever you want. I mean, literally. You can leave this stuff on top of your soil, and if the soil is just remotely has any nutrients at all, it re it rebuds. So like no effort at all. Um, and if it doesn't work for you, and if you want some and it doesn't work for you, um, I'll come I'll come to wherever you are, or I'll send you more because it's a lot. I think I'm gonna repot some of this. So if you guys want to buy full plants or trade full plants or anything like that. I'll have them available. Um, look at the little baby. It's a little baby one. Yeah. 
you know. It's a lot of fun for the kids. So like if you just have like an old compost pile, just throw them on top, they'll take over. And the cool thing is, is because they're tubers, they oxidate, they, they bring oxygen into the compost piles. Like that's what all these are. This entire, as far as you can see to the road, our wood chip um, drop-offs that we got three years ago. And now they're to the point to where they're so rich that we're weeding it all and we're gonna set up our beds there and our little garden area. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that this video finds you well. Guys, keep reading, keep studying, keep exploring, and keep pushing towards your goals. Um, keep embracing freedom and fighting for your liberties. Um, I'm with you guys, and I support you in your efforts. So if you need anything from me, I'm here for you. Thanks, guys, and hopefully we'll see you soon.